so I am headed to a snake call. It is about 11 o'clock at night. I've got my sidekick Audrey here with me. Hello. <laughs> and um, we were we were getting ready for bed, and we got a phone call about a snake. Uh, basically, a person is walking down the street at night, 11 o'clock at night, and there's a, a, a sewer, uh, a storm drain or something, and there's a snake up under it and his head is sticking out and it keeps going back and forth in there and so um they said it's a big snake but every snake we go and catch they always say it's a big snake so this could be an anaconda this could be an earthworm i have no idea what this is going to be but that's the cool thing about going on these calls you never know what in the world you're gonna see. I was driving, well, we was what, in a little car pulling them down the way, we was coming back, and he saw something moving, so he jumped out and said, what is that? And I, I said, oh no, baby, come on back, come on back, and I saw his head sticking out, and I called 911, and they wouldn't respond. 911 <laughs> no. would not respond. He gave us your number. All right, so we just got a call about a snake in a neighborhood and the snake is actually in the culvert the sewer <laughs> right here and i think i see the snake so uh i don't know if we can get him out of there if he stays where he is i think i can get him we're gonna see all right y'all stay over here for me not too close audrey is he still there? Y'all still see him? Yeah. Yes. Where's his head? Yeah. Go over a little. To the to the, to the right to the left. To your left. left. Right. Yeah. Go over some more. Go over yeah. a little bit more. Right there. That's his head? Yes. Got him. <laughs> Let me get my phone. Woo. So this is obviously an escape pet. But uh, the problem is people get these snakes and they don't do their research. And they don't realize these are escape artists. If you don't have this in a secure enclosure, they can get loose and get in a neighborhood like this, which is exactly what just happened. So we're going to take this snake back. And we're going to use them and teach people that if you're going to get a pet, do your research before you get it and make sure you're not buying something just because you think it's cool. Um. All right, let's go. Go okay, here. Um. <laughs> I am a professional <laughs> that is not prepared. I did not have anything to put this snake in. So we're going to have to improvise. We're going to put him right here <laughs> in the middle console. And he's going to have to get in here and fit. So get in there. Get down. Let me squish you in. <laughs> Success. We just caught a Burmese python. I'm really glad I answered the phone tonight. We had just come in from working. We had been... Uh, doing programs we had to take some snakes to a film set we're all tired we get home we get our showers but we're just my luck it peed all over my leg <laughs> yeah that it did uh, after we caught the snake i said here hold the snake and let me get something to put the snake in so i'm looking in the van for a box and i don't know uh, what's happening but she tells me the snake peed all over her leg so i'm glad it was your leg <laughs> and not my leg uh speaking of that He's in the middle console right now, and I sure do, I've got things in here. He better not pee in my middle console. This is a beautiful Burmese python. He doesn't look like he has any injuries to him. He looks very healthy, very well fed. Uh, someone's escaped pet, or someone's released pet. But uh, 
we're going to get him secured, make sure he can't escape, and uh, use him for education and teach with him. Really, really cool day. Really cool night. I'm glad I answered the phone. You never know what you're going to get. Okay, you can put him up. Stick him back in there. Don't close his head in here. Snake, please don't pee in my middle console. I have tons of stuff in here. I should have taken it out, but I didn't.